Wait until you see how beautiful this furniture makeover is. I found this battered and beat up dresser at a charity shop and I only paid 25 pounds. That's like $30. So I brought it home and I took a closer look and as you can see, this has definitely been worse for wear. The first thing I did was I went to the back of the dresser and I unscrewed these really old rusted screws so I could remove this mirror because the stands that held it up were unfortunately broken and I had plans to reuse those later on. Then I used this paint and varnish stripper. I've never used this one before so I decided to give it a go. This had really thick old varnish on it so I used this in a scraper just to get off that top layer of varnish so it wouldn't clog up my sander. I always scrape down a section and then I use my sander and that stain comes up so much easier and you don't have to switch out sandpaper pads as often. This scraping tool is also my favorite for removing hardware and see that little teardrop in the middle? It's great for prying out nails. Who knew? The more and more I sanded, I saw this stunning old tiger oak wood grain and I was so happy to continue with this flip. However, when I did turn it on its side to sand, I realized that half of the leg just chipped off. I think somebody just stuck it back on there when I bought it. So I decided it was best just to remove all of these from the fronts of the legs. When I removed them, I used some two-part epoxy wood filler to fill in some holes and some chips. Now when that was drying, here comes the fun part. This is called a power file and this is the most satisfying sanding tool that I own. This thing literally removes dark stains in a matter of seconds. And I use this for lots of detail sanding. Now, do you see this area here where the wood filler was? Well, I'm using a lighter paint and wiping it back and then I'm stippling on a darker paint, letting that dry and it's all gonna blend into the original color of the wood. You don't even notice. Now to lighten up this wood just a tad, I'm gonna go for the color sandbar. And what I'm doing is I'm applying just some water to this wood and a very, very thin coat of this paint. And while it's still wet, I'm gonna wipe it back, make sure it gets in the wood grain, and it's almost gonna give it a bleached and weathered effect. When the paint wash dried, I took some brown glaze and a really thick brush and I just really gently wiped it across the entire piece and this is gonna pull all the colors and the wash effect together. Now this is one of my favorite parts as well. This stuff's called Big Mama's Butter. Yes, I said that right, Butter. And it's a wood nourishing cream. So you use a brush and you buff it into the wood and you can see the old dry wood and how it revives it back to life. I love this stuff and it smells like oranges. It smells so, so good. Then to seal the actual outside of the piece, I just use some clear wax and I buff that in because I think wax is a great finish for raw wood. Now for the hardware. I took an old pot, I started it to boil, and I added in some vinegar, and I popped all those old hardware into it, let it boil for about 15 minutes, and I took it out and I scrubbed it down with a wired brush. I used some steel wool, dish soap, barkeeper's friend, and unfortunately it just wasn't coming up shiny. So I went to plan B and I got some gold gilding wax, and I lightly brushed it over all of the hardware and look at it just revive it back to life. It's so pretty and this stuff's great because it air dries and you don't have to seal it. Then I attached it onto the front of the drawers and I actually used some dark brown wax and went around the hardware and wiped it back. I did this because I wanted the hardware to look like it's a little bit older and it's been on there for years, which it was. Then I stage my furniture and now I have the most beautiful new raw wooden set of drawers for my kitchen area. I'm gonna store all of my vintage cutlery in this. You can see all the parts that I fixed up and this stunning tiger wood grain. I love it. That's the before and this is the after you guys. What do you think? Also, for the parts that I removed, such as the top bits and the parts that held up the mirror, I'm going to reuse these and upcycle them into other things too, so stay tuned to see what I make.